Hello everyone, this is Momo and today I'm here with you to talk about one of the Rhino 8 new features which is called Shrink Wrap. I found it very, very helpful and very important and uh, uh, especially for jewelry designers who aim to have um, uh, hollow objects, hollow rings uh, and create internal shells. I, uh, I, I noticed that it's, it's developing, but I'm not sure, as I see in Rhino Forum, it's developing by Travis. So as you know, Travis uh, works many years uh, in GemVision Company and at GemVision Company and Stoller Company, new feature, and I wanna show you how it's worked. Uh, so let's, uh, let me show you in this object, okay? So as you can see, when we have these kind of rings and we want to create hollow ring i want to convert it i want to change it to a hollow ring i don't have many options okay if i want to use shell when i click on surfaces that i that i want to remove uh, after pressing enter i have to wait for a calculation so when it's done we have to wait we will have this warning that is set shell result is not solid so this is because of self intersecting self intersection as you know in nerves uh in nerves we have this problem okay in shell we have either but uh because of this issue we couldn't use uh, we can use shell command in this ring so even if you want to do offset you will have a problem again. So uh, I mean that if you uh, extract this surface and then use offset surface, you have another problem. If you want to scale, you're not sure and it's not accurate and you have to use a cage edit many times. But look at this new feature in Rhino WIP. Um, uh, uh, if, you, if, you interested, if you're interested to download WIP, you can go to the Rhino, Rhino website and search for Rhino WIP. You need to have Rhino 7 license so you can use, you can download and use it. So I use Control C and Control V. Okay, so we have it here. First of all, I have to change it or uh, convert it to a mesh, but uh, uh, to so to do that I need to click on shrink wrap okay so when I click on shrink wrap it gives me some options it give, uh, I have any I have a dialog box and I can change it I want to go to 0.05 I don't want any offset now and uh, let's go to polygon uh, opti optimization uh, I want to optimize my mesh okay it's 10 it could be it can be okay I don't want to fill holes and I want to have a preview, so you have to wait, okay? So now, if I press okay, I have a mesh, let me hide it, okay? I have a new mesh. So it's not bad, I like it, it's actually absolutely it's not bad, it's a very really good mesh. So what I want to do, I want to save it. You can, you can have more uh, clear, uh, more, uh, you can have more clear mesh. I mean that you can increase, uh, uh, you can change the parameters and, you, and it gives you a, a better mesh, okay, if you want. So what I want to do, I want to select this one and then I, go, I want to go to find and I want to go to export, select it, and I want to save it here. I want to save in Rhino 7. So I go to ring one, Okay, perfect. I already saved it. I delete this one, show. And now, okay, let me delete that one. Okay, and now what I want to do, I want to do shrink wrap again, and I want to go for offset minus 0 0.6. Okay, so let's see the preview. Okay, so it's giving me a mesh uh, with an offset of Z 0 0.6 millimeter of the object. You will see, super accurate, okay? And it doesn't have any self intersection. It doesn't have anything, but because I want to do mesh Boolean difference and I want to subtract, uh, 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 subtract this one 
uh, from the original object so let's cancel it and I want to extract extract surface okay I want to use extract surface okay I want to join I want to join them okay and I don't want to any copy yes and I want to do offset okay offset surface so how much I want to go to because I want to do after 0 0.6 so I want to make one millimeter okay but I want to go here hide and then extract surface again this one this one this one and then delete show and then select all and then join so now I do shrink wrap again okay 0 0.6 okay preview very good we have to wait I can click on hide input objects okay that's good very good you can press OK you can delete that one you can find export we can do all uh, we can do we can continue in Rhino but I don't want, I don't want to do that because uh, this tutorial belongs to metrics gold users so I want to continue I want to save them and I want to continue in um, metrics gold okay import export selected okay and I want to go for shell shell oops I haven't changed it to Rhino 7 okay no problem save it so this is okay and let me save this one also oops I have to okay so let me find import because I save uh, in uh, Rhino uh, 8 okay so I want to go to this one and I want to save it in Rhino 7 export find export selected and Rhino 7 okay very good save as Rhino 7 because I want to open it in metrics gold okay very good so we delete that one file import ring okay so look at this ring so as I told you we can increase the, the quality by changing uh, some parameters in shrink wrap dialog box okay file import and shell one okay so we have it and look at this look at this beautiful shell and you know that you can go to front cage edit bounding box word and then a little bit go up and then you can go to mesh and then boolean operations right you can go boolean operation mesh boolean difference this one by this one okay as you can see we have a very very clean mesh hollowing hollow ring okay so we can go to clipping plane and as you can see it's really nice it's really nice you see hollow mesh I highly recommend you to uh, download and start using this command because it uh, helps you to uh, create a it helps you to relieve your uh, worriness about how to how to make hollow ring because I always had this problem that okay if I'm creating an object uh, how can I make it uh, how can I ma make it lighter how can I uh, create hollow so but by this uh, by having this command I can do it in a very very easy way